Come to me, all you who are weary and are carrying heavy burdens. Now that probably describes a lot of us a lot of the time. (laughs) Weary, carrying heavy burdens. But the Lord says to us, and I will give you rest. Somebody say, sign me up. I'll take that rest. But then he goes on to say, it's a little odd, he says, take my yoke upon you. Now a yoke, that's a, that's a, a farming implement for working in the fields. We think, you're, you're promising me rest, but you're asking me to take a yoke to work in the fields. How does that make sense? Uh, A while ago, I heard someone explain the whole uh, process of training new ox. The oxen uh, pull the the yoke, the the two wooden beams that go over the shoulders of two ox, over the oxen to plow a field. And the explanation is that when you have a new, young, inexperienced ox who you want to train to, to plow a field, you yoke that new young ox to a strong and experienced ox. And what happens is the strong, experienced ox basically does all the work. And the young, unexperienced ox just learns. It kind of goes along with the older ox just to, just to, to learn. And so that's why the Lord Jesus, he goes straight from, take my yoke upon you, and learn from me. You know, maybe pointing to this uh, reality. And then he goes on to say, uh, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And he says, and you will find rest for your souls. I think that's the, the rest we're ultimately looking for. You know, we don't want kind of that, just simply that superficial kind of freedom from whatever, any responsibilities and duties. Uh, We're looking for that deep abiding rest of soul, which only the Lord Jesus can give to us. And the, the, the great mystery is, it's only when we are doing our duties. I can take you through my list. It's only when we're fighting our battle climbing our mountain, pursuing our dream, following our star, accomplishing our mission. It's only when we're fulfilling our calling, doing our duties, that we find deep rest. I mean, there's a basic principle. Being lazy is exhausting. Falling into the sin of of laziness drains the spirit. And we've all experienced that, you know, when, you're, when you know, okay, I've got duties, I've got responsibilities, but I'm just going to neglect them and be lazy. That doesn't strengthen us. It zaps our spirit, our energy. Now, there's nothing wrong with legitimate rest. Like if you're exhausted and you sleep all day on your day off, that's not being lazy. That's recharging your batteries. That's being wise. That's taking care of yourself. So again, it requires discernment and, and uh, wisdom However, you know, there's a, there's a laziness that drains us, and there's also an activity, oh, that energizes us when we're doing God's will at God's pace, that gentle pace. Then there's a strength of spirit, a strength of heart. Nothing can stop us. We can just keep going and going. Like, we can walk alongside the Lord Jesus yoke next to him forever. The energy never runs out as long as we're next to him and, and keeping his pace. And, and this is promised in Isaiah. It says, and we heard, just heard this, though young men faint and grow weary and youths stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength They will soar on eagles' wings. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not grow faint. This mysterious promise, oh, there's a power, there's an energy, um, there's a strength that God gives us if we're in the right place, which is meant to be right next to Jesus, going at His pace, learning from Him. When we're in that place, nothing can stop us.